Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to the channel. This process video is for shimmers paints and I am going to be using three different types of shimmers but remember if you put my name in the comments you will get a freebie from it and then that's easy, that's simple. So I am going to scrap lift this layout and it's from Wendy Tipton for paper issues. Now when I was doing this I didn't realize that she did her colors like in quadrants. So it's like it was split in a, like a pie shape in four little sections in a circle. I didn't realize that until after looking at it closely. I was like, oh, I kind of did it wrong. But I wanted to achieve the background of having all of these different colors. So I did gesso. The paper that I'm using is Vicki Booten's uh, media paper. And let me tell you. It's like my new favorite. When I got a set of this in, I was like, this is like perfect. And so the two blues that I'm using right now is a Jenny B Blue and then Cole or Snow Wayman. Those are the two that I'm using to achieve the like the blue colors that are in the ocean for the two photos that I'm using. And I wanted to pull in a different color, a different contrast. And you do see it, but I wanted it lightly. And so you'll kind of see that it's like, oh, well, you don't see it, but you do. And it's very thin. I just wanted it like a different color spread in it just so that it kind of offset just a little bit, but not too much. And that color is a vibe, and that's the Mango Tango. All three of these colors are the... are vibes and they are available and I'll link it all down below and then just remember to when you purchase anything from Shimmers Paints remember to put my name in the comments and then you'll get a freebie every time um, it doesn't matter how many times you put my name in there just go ahead put it in there and then you'll get a freebie and it, for the most part the team is pretty good about making sure that they don't give you the same one over and over right the color kits are amazing. The one that came out for June is like the bomb and I have it too and it's like perfect. I did receive like a good little happy mail goodie bag from um, from Shimmers Paints as well. And let me tell you, I absolutely positively love everything I got. And so I'm using it um, quite a bit and I've been doing a lot more mixed media and it's because I'm, you know, it's it's... I, I, it's finally speaking to me again. I go in spurts. Sometimes it's, I'm going to do a lot of sketches. The next time I'm going to scrap lift every person I possibly can that allows me to scrapbook and the, or scrap lift. And then I'm like mixed media heavy. And I just love, you know, I just love doing any type of putting all of this together. And so I kind of got the best of both worlds when Wendy did this one um, way back. Like I had this linked for a hot minute and I am just backing the the photos backed with and giving it just different like sections dimension to the layouts and this is the I think it's the star chase I think it's the new one from Heidi Swap not the pre-order one but the new one from Heidi um, Heidi Swap I ended up getting it because I love the colors of it it's so muted it's so gorgeous so what I'm doing here now is that in the scrap lift that I'm doing, I can tell that she did a lot of stamping or she had, you know, those rub-ons. And so I was going to try to do some white embellishments, kind of like what she did because she had a stencil that went over the top. But my white daisy cardstock did, doesn't, like the white daisy doesn't pop off this, off this page like I wish it would have. So ultimately, I was like, well, I'll try it next time. But I think what I'll do next time, it's just going to be my modeling paste and call it a day. So I got out this stamp set. This stamp set is close to my heart, the June one. And I will link that down below. It is super gorgeous. I love it. It's all about the summer. It's just amazing. And I'm just stamping. Now remember, when I get going, it'll look like a hot mess. That background looks like a hot mess. All this stamping looks like a hot mess. But wait until you start to see the embellishments come to life. And it'll be like, oh, this makes a lot of sense of why you're just doing a bunch of twos and threes and fours and fives and and all of that. And you'll be able to tell that it works. Now some of it I cover up and 
I really don't care. And so now I'm going to come back in with the photos. The photos are of my daughter and my one of my good friends, their two children. And this was when we went to Tybee Island over Memorial Day weekend last year. And it was a lot of fun. We went down for, we left on a Friday, came back on a Sunday, and the kids got to see the lighthouse. We went into Savannah, all of that fun stuff. And it was just a lot of fun. The kids got to enjoy the the beach quite a bit, the ocean, and all of that. So I cut this tag, and I wanted it to look like it stretched across the photos, so I took the piece that I cut off, put it there. I do turn off my um, camera, and you'll see that I come back, and the journaling is on there, because I did want to actually journal on there. So this is what I was talking about. Do you see how now that I've been putting all of these little bits and bobs around this photos and trying to achieve to stay at least inside that bubble of that circle, my stamping is not that bad now. And that's what I love about mixed media. You have to put layers on. If you do not put the layers on, it's just going to look like a hot mess and everybody gets so freaked out about the hot mess. And the thing is, is that you have to just do it. You've got to... You've got to do it. And I remember when I first started scrapbooking, I was never, when I saw how much Missy Whitten would put on a layout of mixed media, I was like, oh no, that is not what I'm doing. No, 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 no. And then I had a couple of friends was like, I think you should try it. At least put some splatters. I'm like, okay, can I control the splatters? Because I don't want that much. I don't want my pages to bow, blah, 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 blah. Well, that splatters turned into this. And I'm on uh, the Shimmers design team. I watch Missy Witten all the time. And I achieve what I feel the best, you know, of my best of both worlds without even realizing, you know, what I did, right? So I, you just have to do it. And if it doesn't look good, it's okay. You can turn it into embellishments. You can do something with it. You don't have to be scared about it. It's, it's so, it, you just gotta do it. To be really honest, it, you just gotta get in there and do it because I was so scared just like, you know, if you guys have never done mixed media before, I get it because I've been there, I've done that. It looks scary. It looks messy. How can you achieve a good look without it being, you know, over crazy? And I, you know, you just have to do it. it and it takes practice, but you got to keep doing it over and over and over. And then it comes to even that much better. I, I swear, I promise you. So in the, in the layout, she took a couple of threads. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. The threads and spread, spread out the thread. Well, I just decided to put it in different places. And then I took the tag and twirled up the twine. And now I'm just going in and making sure that all of these little bits and bobs are where I want them. And then I'm like, you know what? This layout's still not done because she put sequence on there. So then I'm going to go do some sequence. So I do find some sequence from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Like I'm hitting up everything at this point on this layout. I did stamping. I did mixed media. I did sequence. Like you, like, you just can't go wrong with this layout. And so I'm just placing them in the chunks of where I was at. So for the most part, I did pretty much achieve that circle. And you can still see the mixed medium. And I know that you can't really see the, the mango tango, but it's there. It's just a lot lighter because I didn't want it to be. I wanted the blue to stick out more than anything because all three of the kiddos are wearing blue colors. Um, the reason why I pulled out the Ginny B blue is because the boys are wearing that color where my daughter's wearing more of the Snowway Man. So I do come in with my paint, sp or paint splatters. I did do the outside with my line. I splatter it in and then that is it. Make sure that you go and like and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you. The still shots are coming up and I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day. Stay safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.